Gang-fueled crime seems to be a hot topic this week after nearly a dozen suspected gang members on the Broadmoor gang were arrested in Palm Beach County, including one man allegedly involved in that Valentine's Day shooting over at the Gardens Mall. Now on the Treasure Coast, a routine traffic stop in Port St. Lucie turned into a massive drug bust last night, landing three people behind bars, including two documented gang members. CBS 12's Katie Benty joins us from outside that strip mall off Bayshore Boulevard in Port St. Lucie with how the investigation started. Katie. This is a small, quiet shopping plaza in Port St. Lucie, mainly just mom and pop shops, a popular donut shop. But what I want to show you is among all of these legitimate businesses right behind this fence here, police say that house was selling dangerous illicit drugs. It was raided last month, but it wasn't until last night that police say they found the person they believe to be responsible. Psilocybin mushrooms, bags stuffed full of marijuana, $12,000 cash, a loaded handgun, and a ski mask. All seen in this photo taken by a Port St. Lucie police detective following what started as a routine traffic stop. Well, my reaction isn't really that strong because I'm used to seeing it, but obvious reasons why you would have those two items would be to conduct nefarious activities. The stop led to the arrest of three suspects, including 20 year old Samuel Content and 27 year old Dante Anderson. According to police, both are documented members of the notorious LA Street gang known as the Bloods. Lo and behold, as gang members do, they were in possession of narcotics, a firearm and cash. Content has been the target of a nearly month long investigation after residents noticed an unusual amount of traffic going in and out of a house off Bayshore Boulevard. Well, this individual is an active gang member and we are very vigilant on monitoring and documenting our active gang members within the city. Gang field crime may not be as commonly talked about in Port St. Lucie, but officers say that doesn't mean it's not happening. In this city, we don't have a lot of street drug activity, so the activity that's going on is going on behind closed doors. Behind these doors, officers say they found enough evidence to charge content with selling fentanyl, cocaine and cannabis. Just a few things on the list of felony counts he's facing. Unfortunately, we have a very, very high rate of overdoses um, affiliated with fentanyl. So anytime we can get that off of the street, it's a big plus. Meanwhile, Anderson is facing drug possession charges and having a firearm while committing a felony. Police did not release the third suspect's name, but he was only charged with one misdemeanor. Now, as for Content and Anderson, they are both being held at the St. Lucie County Jail on combined bonds totaling to nearly $350,000. Reporting in Port St. Lucie, I'm Katie Benty, CBS 12 News. I'm Jim Grimes. Click like and subscribe buttons if you want to see more stories like this that impact you.